Hi and welcome to 6 Minute Math. For this video, aaralin natin kung paano kumuha ng sum ng functions. So to get the sum of function, ang tatandaan nyo lang, f plus g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x. So f and g, that's the name of our function, and then x is the placeholder. Take note that f and g can be replaced by any other variable as well as x. So our first example, f of a is equal to 2a plus 5, and g of a is equal to a cubed plus 5a squared. Now, define muna natin yung function natin na i-add. So, yung function na i-add natin ay si f plus g of a is equal to f of a plus g of a. Ang susunod naman natin gagawin is isa-substitute na natin yung values ng f of a at g of a. f plus g of a now is equal to 2a plus 5 plus the value of g of a which is a cubed plus 5a squared. Next, ang gagawin na natin is i-add na natin si 2a plus 5 and then si a cubed plus 5a squared. Take note na kapag nag-a-add tayo ng algebraic expressions, we need to combine the like terms. Ano ba yung sinasabi nating like terms? Like terms are terms whose variables and exponents are the same. Kailangan yung exponent nila and then variable ay pareho. So for this example, wala tayong terms na matatawag nating like terms. So ano na lang ang gagawin natin dito? Ang gagawin na lang natin dito is to arrange it from highest degree to lowest degree or yung may pinakamataas na exponent hanggang sa may pinakamababang exponent. So to write the final answer, f plus g of a is equal to the term with the highest exponent which is a cubed plus 5a squared plus 2a plus 5. And that is our final answer. For example, number 2, find the sum of f of a is equal to 18a minus 13 and g of a is equal to negative 4a minus 8. For our first step, define muna natin kung ano yung functions na i-add. So, yung functions na i-add natin is f plus g of a is equal to f of a plus g of a. Then, ang gagawin naman natin susunod is to substitute the value of f of a and then yung value naman ni g of a. f plus g of a now is equal to 18a minus 13 plus the value of g of a, which is negative 4a minus 8. Ang susunod naman is to combine like terms. Si 18a and negative 4a are like terms. So kapag pinag-combine natin sila, 18a plus negative 4a, the answer is positive 14a. Next naman is si negative 13 and si negative 8. So negative 13 plus negative 8, the answer is negative 21. So since sa combine na natin yung like terms, pwede na natin isulat yung final answer. f plus g of a now is equal to positive 14a minus 21. For some books, ang format nila kapag nagpapasagot ng sum of functions ay if f of k is equal to negative 12k minus 1 and g of k is equal to negative 4k minus 1, find f plus g of x. So, same lang naman sila nang gagawin from the previous examples. Ang nangyari lang dito, nag-iba lang siya ng format. So, ano ulit una natin gagawin? Let's define the function na i-add. So, ang i-add natin is f plus g of k is equal to f of k plus g of k. And then, substitute na natin yung value ng f of k. f plus g of k now is equal to f of k negative 12k minus 1 plus yung value ng g of k which is negative 45k minus 1. Then, we combine like terms. Negative 12k plus negative 45k is negative 57k and negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2. We can now write our final answer. Our final answer is f plus g of k is equal to negative 57k minus 